Oklahomans are taking in a rather unique and smelly opportunity. This is down at the Myriad <laughs> Botanical Gardens today. Yeah, it's called a corpse flower. It's bloomed for the first time in almost nine years. At tonight, though, the uh, odor is slowly fading away. News Force Austin Bassett, we send him down there. He's live at the gardens in Austin. Thousands have lined up to get a, a whiff of this. We have to ask, did you? <laughs> yeah, Jolie and Kevin, I did actually earlier this afternoon, and I will tell you it did smell pretty bad, but it hasn't changed much since we were here earlier this afternoon. These folks standing behind me are at the front of the line because the flower is just over my right shoulder here. This line actually weaves all the way through the Myriad Botanical Gardens. It goes outside all the way to the west of Hudson, and we're told it even has gone down Reno. So as you said, thousands and thousands of people have lined up to see this thing and smell it, but that smell is starting to fade away. As we know, the flower is also starting to close up. So since that is the case, we'll go ahead and let some people we talked to earlier this afternoon give you their experience. I smell it's like kind of sewagey, like garbagey smell. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of like flies butt smell. It smells like four or five day old ground meat. <laughs> that you haven't cooked yet. <laughs> Smelled like a dead body to me. And despite that, a line to see it was long enough to reach far outside the Myriad Botanical Gardens Monday afternoon. Everyone waiting for a chance to see this, a corpse flower. Of course, we know why it has that name. It smells so bad. <laughs> Smells like something has died and it's rotting. Director of Horticulture Nate Shane says one of the largest flowers in the world native to an Indonesian island isn't smelly for no reason though. It does that because it's trying to attract pollinators uh, that lay their eggs in dead things. So it'll attract things like flies and carrion beetles that go in there thinking that they're going to lay their eggs and they actually end up pollinating the plant. He got it from Ohio State University as a little seedling and has had it for almost nine years. And this is the first time it's bloomed. It takes between seven and ten years to bloom from a seed and um, it either produces a flower or it produces a really large leaf. With it being that rare, it isn't the smell that's necessarily attracting everyone to it. Some waiting in line for about an hour to take it all in. Oh, it was really cool. It was like, this thing is like taller than me. So it's pretty cool. It's one of those things that doesn't happen very often, so it's good to come out and check it out. And I expected it to be a bit crazy, but like even this is like exceeding my expectations. Well, and it's definitely still crazy out here, and it's only about 6.15. Now, we're told the bloom itself lasts about one day. However, the smell can last about a day and a half. However, again, that is all starting to wrap up, but they are open until about 9 o'clock tonight, so you can come out and still experience this for about the next two and a half hours, but you still may have to wait about an hour to get to the front of the line. In downtown Oklahoma City, Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4.